In this video, I will be showing you how to link two or more projects together and how you can pass data from one project to another. This can be especially useful if you're looking to have something like a self-assessment quiz with several sections, where each section has a different result that the user can get, and then you want to show the results of all sections in the final results page. Also with quizzes that have a main landing page and then redirect users to other quizzes. A good example of this is asking users to pick their language on the landing quiz and then redirect them to the quiz that is in the language they chose. Or maybe you just want to ask the user's personal data after the results page is shown. Well, this video will be covering all these kinds of use cases. For this tutorial, I'll be using a modified version of one of our templates, the Big Five Personality Test or Personality Traits. So what I want to do here is have a quiz with two sections where users can get one out of two possible outcomes on each section. Then we want to show the outcomes that they got on each section once they get to the very end. To do this, we'll need to start by creating two projects. We'll call them quiz A and quiz B to make it easier. I already have mine set up and open in the editor, as you can see. Make sure that all projects have been published, okay? Otherwise, this tutorial won't work. So that's an important thing to bear in mind. First thing we will do is connect quiz A to quiz B, so the user can go from one project to the other. To do this, I'll add a button to the outcome page on quiz A. So in my case, I already have it here, so I'll just click it. And then I'll set the button to button links to URL, same tab as it is here. This will make it look like both quizzes are just a single one and the user won't notice that it's actually two uh, separate quizzes that you have going on. Then I'll just go to quiz B, go to share and embed and copy this project's URL. Now we'll go back to quiz A and paste the URL we just copied here in the web address uh, field of the button. So let's do that. And there we are. Now whenever the user gets to the open outcome, they'll see the result that they got in the section and clicking next takes them to the next project where they can proceed with the quiz. Alternatively, if you don't want the user to see the outcome and instead they should just continue to the next question, then that's also possible. We'll do that on the extroverted uh, outcome. To do this, you'll just need to click this uh, pencil icon here that you can see. Then you just paste project B URL in this field, click save, and that's about it. Now, whenever the user gets the extroverted outcome, they won't see any outcome page and will just be redirected to the next project. Regardless of the method you use, button or redirect, make sure to repeat it for all outcomes so that they all behave the same way. Unless, of course, you want you plan to have uh, for each outcome to behave differently, which is also fine. Now, the next step will be to pass data from one project to the other. In this case, I want to pass the outcome name from one project to another. That way I can show all outcome names in the final page. To do this, we'll need to use answer piping in hidden fields. The data will be saved and passed on to the next project via the URL. So let's go back to our button, which has quiz B's URL in it. Mm -hmm. To make it easier, I'll just cut the URL here and pasting onto the heading subline text. The bigger box basically makes it easier for me to view the entire URL and can be especially useful if you have a long URL that needs to be edited. Now what we'll do is add a question mark to the end of the URL and enter the parameter for the outcome that I want to pass onto the next project. The parameter can have any name that you want and I'm okay. in my case I'll just call it result1. Remember this parameter as we will need it in a little bit. Now enter an equal sign. And this is where we will use answer piping. Just click on this button, add answers and data, and pick the outcome variable here. This variable with the curly brackets will be automatically replaced with the outcome name. Now let's grab the URL and paste it back onto the button. And there we are. If you want to use the redirect method instead, same thing. Just click on the pencil icon paste the URL and click save. Now we will be moving on to quiz B, back into the editor. Here is where we will use the hidden fields so we can receive and save data from quiz A. Just head over to the cogwheel icon here and click hidden fields. 
Now we'll add a field and pick custom parameter. Remember the parameter that I just entered on quiz B's URL on the other project? That is the same parameter that I will need to write down here if I want the outcome name to be passed from quiz A to quiz B. So let's write result one. Do bear in mind that if the parameter in the hidden field here doesn't match the one in the URL, this won't work. So make sure to pay special attention to that. Now that we were all set, all I need to do is make it so that both outcomes from quiz A and B are shown in the outcome pages. To do that, I'll use an element, a uh, heading element, and write UR for starters. So there it is, UR. And then I'll need to use answer piping again. So I'll go to add answers and data and pick the result one variable. This will essentially give me the outcome name of quiz A. And then I'll pick the outcome variable, which will give me the outcome name of the quiz that we're in. Now let's test all of this out by opening the quiz A, going here and clicking try project. So take test, let's pick yes and yes again so that we get the open outcome. Here's the outcome and now we'll continue to the next quiz. If you look closely here on the URL, you know, you'll notice that the outcome name is already here. As you can see, it says open which so far indicates that the quiz is working as intended, which is great. Now let's continue. Let's do no and then yes. We can fill in here the data. And show results. And there it is. You are open and agreeable. So we have both outcomes here. This is how you can link projects and pass over data from one project to the other. That's basically about it. Now, before we finish, I'll just show you how it would work if you wanted to pass this data onto a third project. And show results. To do that, we'll just need to create a new project, which I already have here, called Project C. This project only has a contact form and the thank you page. And I'll go ahead and link it to Quiz B. Like I did previously, I'll go and grab Project C's URL and then paste it onto a button in project B. Although you can also create a redirect instead, it doesn't have to mm -hmm. necessarily be a button. And show results. Mm -hmm. This is essentially and how you can ask for the user's details after they have made it to the outcome So page. we have so both this is basically outcomes here. How you do it. This is how you now can link need to add the parameters and over data from the URL again, just like I did in quiz A. About it. To do this, but before uh, we I'll finish, finish I'll just show you how it would work like if you wanted to pass this data onto a third project. To do that, we'll need to create a new project, which I already have here. So we'll add by starting the question mark again, and then the parameter result one. Now we need to get the variable for this result. project only has a contact form and a thank you so page. So let's click and again. I'll go ahead and link it to data. quiz B. Like I did previously, and I'll go and there grab it is. A project C. Did you URL. notice how the variable is now called result and one and not button outcome? Project Instead, B. result two will have the variable called outcome. This is why you can't simply copy the parameters and variables from quiz A and paste it onto quiz B. So now that we have the result one, we'll need to add in result two. So for that, we need to add an ampersand here, write result two, which is the other parameter, equals sign again, add answers and data, and outcome again. So that will be our URL. Let's put it back on the button. And now that this is done, all we need to do is go back to quiz C, open it on the editor, and we'll have to create hidden fields for result one and result two, and that will be it. So I'll go here, hidden fields. In my case, I already have them ready. So this is result one and this is result two. When doing these two uh, hidden fields, remember it's a custom parameter that you need to choose. So now that that is done, uh, that is basically about it. It doesn't really matter how many projects you have. The process is always the same if you want to link them and pass data over. So now all that is left is to have now the before we finish, I'll just, just show you how it would work like if you wanted and to pass this data onto a third so that I get shown to do that, we'll need to create a new project that the child already have here called so project C. heading. 
this project only has a contact form and a thank you page. Uh, and I'll just go ahead and, and link it to we'll Quincy typing again. Like so I did previously, we'll I'll go in one here, project which will give us URL. the name of the first outcome. And, we'll add in, and then Results. paste it onto a button so these and are the project two will be variables that we need to add in. And I'll just do that. And now that we're all set, it's time to test how the quiz works. So all three of them. So I'll go all the way back to quiz A, try project, take test. So yes, yes. I got the open outcome again. Next, no, yes. Show results. So this, we are still in quiz B, as you can see by the URL. So we'll just click next, which should take us to quiz C. And we need to enter our details again here and click show results. And there we are, you are open and agreeable. So this seems to be working. The only thing that I should mention here is that on quiz C, I forgot to uh, set it to URL sync tab, so it just opened the new tab, but this is something that you can tweak and bear in mind when you're doing your own version of the project. And that's about it. That is how you can link projects together, pass data, and so on. I hope this is helpful to you, and I'll see you next time.